and Diva comes in and just goes, ah, you guys try to have a little professionalism That's here. Right. So she fired off the correct name. Uh, Liponema is the genus that we think this is. This animal is um, a species of. They're really hard to um, collect because they kind of come apart when you sort of grab them. Those tentacles are extremely fragile and they look transparent because they're mostly water inside. The very, very thin skinned anemone, very thin uh, body walls along the tentacles and uh, very tenuous attachments of the tentacles to the, the body of the anemone itself. So uh, they are they're not a very good collection option. Therefore, we don't know tons about them. Well, this guy is perched on a rock. That's true. In fact, that's a good point. I hadn't thought of that. Um, let me ask the group since we're sitting here. Guys, um, Josh has just pointed out that this pom-pom anemone is on a decent sized rock, not a huge rock, but one that Come could be grabbed video. and okay. put in the bio box if well, mm, that's kind of big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, is, I, don't, uh, I don't know if that'll fit in the bio box. Yeah, 30 yeah. centimeters long. And that, that pom pom would not survive a rock box yeah. ride to the surface. Oh, well, it was, it was so a shove it in. Yeah. Almost a good idea, Josh. You could fit it in, it would just not do so well. There's a long legged shrimp. You can, yeah, that, that guy's it's photo bombing the image rock again. Is. We yeah. Break part of the rock off and then. See, we keep going. We keep going the long-legged shrimp, but they're actually officially called thread-legged yep. shrimp. And I think I think today we could have a, a yeah, little highlights video. video of, of shrimp photo bombing all update. the other footage. Yeah, the wind is starting to back now. <laughs> starting to move back eastward, um, although increasing slightly. So I will be shifting my head now back. Melts for you. Wow. So keep an eye on your sonar. We right. might uh, start This is really interesting. I haven't again. seen anything Copy. quite like this before. And uh, <laughs> this is going to be a little puzzle that we're going to have to figure out. I think this I think this is in the family Lothiani, the goose fishes, the anglerfish. And I'm not sure exactly what we're looking at here as far as the genus. Um, I don't see the lasers right now to get an idea of how just big a this bit. is. Get the lasers. It could be a little tiny Slodinia. We've seen bigger ones of this if it's a very small specimen. But it could be a goose fish. It doesn't look quite as flattened. But the other possibility is that this could be something that's completely unknown. I'm not going to jump on this and say that it's a new species or anything like that. But uh, this is very different right, looking than uh, the other uh, goose fish or angler fish that we've seen. Uh, again, uh, if Chris or Ken, if you have any thoughts about this, it'd be quite welcome. This is a, an unusual looking little fish. Yeah, I agree, Bruce, and I'm just looking at the gallery pictures here right now, and he's kind of, right, I know exactly back. what you're saying. There's a genus Slovenia. He doesn't quite match that, and then there's Lophioides, and he doesn't match that either. He's sort of somewhere in between or something. So I don't know either. It's got a very prominent uh, proboscis. I don't know what you'd call that sticking out, whereas lure is. I, d I don't remember them sticking out quite that far from the mouth, but maybe I'm wrong. Right, come on out, video. I'm going to get closer. That's no, it. you're absolutely right about that. That's, That's an unusual feature that I don't remember seeing on any of these. The, the uh, 